And Alexis's family marked the 10-year anniversary of her disappearance with a celebration of her life tonight at the last place she was seen alive. ABC 13's Jacob Hunsicker is live at what was, at the time, Liberty Gas in Lovingston with the emotional outpouring of love and memories. And there were a lot of them tonight, Noreen. It was all right here, the site of the gas station where Alexis Murphy went to fill up her tank 10 years ago today. It was the last place that anyone saw her alive. Now, an entire decade later, her family and friends gathered here tonight to celebrate who she was. I can hear her saying, Aunt Trina, you got this. You got this. A celebration of life filled with emotional memories of Alexis Murphy both joyful from her hair to her makeup to her fingernails to her eyelashes so long she can't see the volleyball coming and tearful that very first practice is probably one of the hardest practices i attended as much as i wanted to break down and cry in front of everybody i just couldn't i had to show how strong it was for the girls family friends loved ones all coming together on the 10 year anniversary of her disappearance at the last place that she was seen alive. I'm feeling sad and happy at the same time. Um, sad because we don't have her, but happy that 10 years that we have all these people to still to come out to remember her. Her mother, Laura Murphy, says it's bittersweet to see such an outpouring of love. She told me how finally finding Alexis's remains after seven years did lift a dark cloud but couldn't clear the sky. I had peace, but it's not a day that don't go by. I don't think about her. I'm at peace, but still not at peace. The family is grateful. The support from this community remains strong, staying together to cope and to remember. I know that she's at peace. Yes, we grieve her. Yes, we miss her. Yes, we love her. We always will. But walk away today, 10 years later, after this horrible tragedy, and if you don't have peace, find it. The family tells me the peace that they have been able to find helped them move past the hatred they felt for the man responsible for Alexis's death, Randy Taylor. Tonight's service ended with a prayer for all of those still hurting to find that continued peace. Live in Lovingston tonight, Jacob Hunziker, ABC 13 News. Thanks for watching the ABC 13 YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos and live coverage and local stories, click to subscribe and download our ABC 13 News app.